In today's class, the psychological concept we are looking at is persuasion. Persuasion has to do with the changes in attitudes and behaviors that can be influenced by certain ideas or concepts and depending on how they are presented. So there is a two-step process called the elaboration likelihood model, which refers that there are two routes of persuasion that can be activated. We're going to start with the central route. The central route is generally activated when the issue is personally relevant to the person, there is knowledge in this domain, or the person feels personally responsible for what the message or the idea contains. They will use the central route. And the central route focuses on the quality of the argument or the message that is actually being said. It takes their effortful cognitive processing to think about the message over the more superficial concepts. The second route that they could be using is the peripheral route. That is activated when the issue is not personally relevant, the person may be distracted or fatigued, or if the message is incomplete or hard to understand, the person will then use their peripheral route to comprehend the message and will be more likely to fall victim to this type of persuasion. This type of persuasion depends on attractiveness, credibility, fame of the person who is giving the message, and the number and length of arguments. It also is influenced by consensus. If everyone is doing it, you will also be convinced of it. What I'm trying to convince you of today is getting puppies from a shelter over getting puppies from a breeder. You may ask, how am I going to convince you of that? The answer is, depending on your personal relevance or responsibility towards the topic, I will either use the central or peripheral route. And using the peripheral route, I will have a celebrity deliver this message to you, tell you more about it, and convince you with cute, cuddly pictures of puppies. In the central route, I will give you evidence and data that supports shelter puppies over breeder puppies, whereas we already have enough of those in circulation. For the central route, you would be more likely to be persuaded by factual evidence. So euthanasia has gone down from 12 to 20 million to 3 to 4 million, with 2.7 million healthy shelter pets not adopted each year, and 30% of pets in homes come from shelters or rescues. These are just some of the facts behind shelter dogs and people's adoption of them. So after hearing about both persuasive routes, which method do you think you would be more likely to engage in when thinking about adopting a dog from a breeder or from a shelter?